Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today, I'm going to be doing my first video on Khan in live. OB69 is out on PC. I don't know if it's out on console just yet, because I don't have any way to play console. I'm sorry if it isn't. I know console tends to be like a week or two behind, so those of you guys that play on console, you'll have to wait a little bit. But today, I'm going to be playing Khan. We have got his black and red recolor. It cost me 40,000 bloody gold, but it looks fantastic. We're playing Siege. Timber Mill going to go ahead and do Siege first, just in case I try and play a deathmatch later on after this game and don't end up getting Khan. We've got a Knessa, 55, 34, Genos, 18, Charlin, 28, Victor. Going up against, strangely enough, not another Khan. They've got a Zin, Drogo, Zanara, Genos, and Strix. He went live today when I'm recording this video, so it's kind of strange not seeing another one on the other team when all of the other games I've played today. He's just been, like, on both sides, obviously. I guess Timbermill isn't the best map for him because you can't really throw people off the map. You kind of can in, like, one or two areas, but that's kind of it. And the areas that you can actually throw people off are areas that you don't usually go that much, so this might be kind of rough. He also isn't very good at range. This may not have been the best situation to pick him in, but I guess I should go for firing line. I really like these two. These two are my favorites. Vortex grip is really strong in certain situations, especially the smaller maps when you're going to be grouped up with a team. This one would probably make the most sense, but instead we're going for firing line because why the hell not? Loadout hasn't changed much since the preview video I made a while ago. I don't think it actually has changed at all, but this is what I'm rolling with either way. Let me hit equip. Look at the red weapon. It looks so bloody detailed. It's insane. Let's just go play the point. I suppose I just took a bunch of damage. This is also my first time playing on the new version of this map. I'm going to dash away so that I don't die. Should be using my Q more because that's what my loadout is based around. There we go. I think I got that on a couple people. This Anara is having a super tough time. Let me pull my shield up. Okay, never mind. The most annoying thing about this game and the reason why it's probably going to go way worse than I originally expected is the fact that Thea Strix is just going to have free reign up there because no one's going to flank him. We don't even have a flanker. We have three damage characters and a bloody healer, so there's no way this is going to go as planned. Hello. I do see you. Don't, don't think you're sick. Does she even know I'm behind her? I missed my grab, but that's fine. She's dead anyway. Let me pop my Q up. Hello, Anara. There we go. She's gone. There's my Q. Hello, Zin. Should I ult you? Sure. He's dead now anyway. There we go. 500 damage. Just throw him against the wall and let him rag to to the floor. His ult is by far my favorite ability that's been added to Paladins in a little while now. It is way more fun than it looks. It is so satisfying to use properly. You are not going to touch that objective. Not today, Anara. I'm so sorry. I have to just deny you from going into overtime there. Uh, can we get rid of her as well? We can try. Headshots for 1-8. That's not too bad. Don't feel like I'm really doing Khan justice, but I do have to say I would heavily, heavily recommend that even if you don't like frontliners and you don't think you'll like him, that you give him a go because once you get used to the F, the Q, and just using his kit in general, especially the ultimate, he is so much fun to play. There, I'm going to hold my shield up here to try and avoid some damage from that Strix. We can plop that down because we can just deploy that whenever we want, which is nice. 800 heal. Okay, here we go. Not dealing much damage because I'm firing slower than I'm used to. I didn't pick the card that lets me fire faster. Is our Charlin AFK? Do we not have a bad enough time already? Oh, he's back. Is this a bot maybe? Hello, Charlin. I'm guessing this is a bot. We're not going to win. We have an AFK or a bot. And then we have a freaking Knessa, a Victor, and a Genos. I, it's not going to happen. I can try and pull people here. Let me go. Let me go and try and do something here. There's no way this is going to work. I can try and hold this point, but there's there's really no point. So I'm actually not sure if the Charlin is a bot or not. But if he's not a bot, he's just bad enough to the point where I can't tell if he's human or not. I honestly don't know what's going on. I can't really do much. I understand that I'm probably not playing very well, but I'm in a bit of a tough situation right here where, where I try and play the point, I'll just die, and if I don't play the point, then I'll die anyway. There's not really any any situation where I can see us holding this point. Our Charlene again is just chilling behind the thing for some reason. I don't understand. We lost. What a surprise. Who could have guessed? Jesus Christ, that is by far the worst game of Paladins I've had in a little while. The top plays looking sexy, though. I don't know if they've changed anything, but that looks better than I remember it looking. Our Knesset got top play. Our Knesset did okay, our Victor did okay, and our Genos did okay. But if the Charlin was somebody who could flank well, we probably would have won that game. If there was somebody in Charlin's place, playing a flanker who could just go and kill that 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 freaking Strix, but nobody went to kill the Strix and our Charlin didn't really do anything. Okay, we're in a much better place now. We're doing Onslaught Foreman's Rise. I have played Khan on Onslaught Foreman's Rise before and we absolutely demolished the other team, so this should be much, much better for Khan. The last one, again, was terrible and I probably cut nearly the entire thing out because it was just atrocious. Onslaught Foreman's Rise. I actually managed to get Khan again as well because I, I spammed it to the best of my abilities. Looks like we're going to have a Bomb King, a Genos, a Willow, and a Strix. Shout out to Carlos5221 or 5221, whatever your name is. I'm not sure, but shout outs to you. If he's watching this video, then that will be his response. I don't usually reply if 
so I love you vids. What a nice dude. I, I'm not going to reply to him in the chat because I want him to be surprised when he watches this video. But shout out to Carlos. We're going up against, obviously, another Khan, a Grover, another Strix, a Sky, and an Andro. We might actually be alright here. I have got him level 12 just because I leveled him up to unlock all the legendary cards there. Khan seemingly hasn't, which means he'll be using the default one, which should give us an advantage. One thing also that I've just remembered that I want to point out. I don't have the voice pack for Khan, and I don't know why. I paid for that, that, that ultimate Paladin's Champion pack, or whatever it was called, where you unlock all of the champions automatically, and that used to also give you the voice packs, but I don't have Khan's voice pack, and it's asking me to pay 200 crystals for it, which really sucks, because I'm used to getting all of the voice packs and stuff, even though I don't have my audio that loud, so it's kind of disappointing to see that they've changed there, especially considering they didn't really mention it or anything. I guess I should go for firing line. Okay, so we'll do the same loadout, same legendary card, because why the hell not? Let's just give CC Muni and heals to everybody. It's kind of hard to tell when he's got CC Muni with that bloody skin, though. Let's just go jump and stand on the objective. What's up, enemy team? What's popping? Okay, so that Khan is just here. That's not a Khan, that's a Grover. What's popping, my guy? Can we get rid of him? There we go, he's gone. Is this going to be a double? Let's pop a shield up to avoid all the damage from that Sky. Oh, there we go, he's out. There's another Q. It's a heal, CC immunity, and a damage buff. What more could you bloody ask for? I swear to God, if nobody starts flanking that Strix, this is going to be just like the last game and I'm going to be salty again. Why is nobody up there trying to kill him? Happened the last match and happened this game as well. Now that Strix is just going to go ahead and be super aggro, because why the hell wouldn't he? Uh, you are very dead, though, my guy. There's no way, there's no way I'm about to die to a fucking Strix in a one-on-one -on -one fight as a tank. No, no, no. Let's get rid of this Andro as well. Thank you very much. I do really like his weapon. Some people say that they don't like his pistol. I personally really like his pistol. He is very dead. Oh, the save from Grover right there. I'm impressed. Let's pop our shield here just to avoid some damage and save our genos a little bit as we waddle away here. Uh, thank you very much. I'm just going to go ahead and walk behind here. Maybe I should be playing the point more often. He's ulting for some reason. We have got our ult, so I'm going to try and pull somebody off the map. Is it going to be you, Khan? Indeed it is. Later, nerd. That is by far my favorite ultimate in Paladins. Nothing tops being able to pick a character up who's got like 4,000 health and throw them away like a bloody dog toy. That is ridiculous. And it suits his character so well as well. I honestly really like the ultimate. It's by far my favorite part of his kit. Let's pick you up, deal 400 damage, throw you back, and finish him off. There we go. I'm getting used to it. I'm slowly dealing a bit more damage and being a little bit more fluid. Luckily, their Strix isn't playing as defensively because that would make my life really, really hard. He's gone. What's up, my guy? There's a damage immunity. You are very dead. I'm not going to be flashed, dude. I've got CC immunity. What are you trying to do? Who, who, who are you trying to fool, my guy? You are so fucking dead. Get out of here, boy. This is how you play Khan. I'm getting better now, and I'm showing you him properly. I'm actually demonstrating how Khan plays, not like the last game, which was just a complete mess. I'm going to try and hook him off the map here. If he keeps running towards me, we'll do it. No! I can't counter that. I can try and dash back on, but I can't do it. Props to the Khan for getting revenge on me. I, I can't be mad. I did it to him. He did it back. I don't know what's going on with my camera right now. It looks like I'm just going to go ahead and clip through the, the infinity, but there we go. Hello, Strix. You are very dead, my guy. Did that not hit you? Come on. There's my immunity. Let's get rid of him here. Not today, Strix. I'm sorry, my guy. Thank you, Genos, for the heals, my dude. We're out of combat now as well. If they do hit your shield, it does put you into combat, which is nice. It's not ridiculously overpowered. We should be able to get rid of these guys here. This shouldn't be too hard. There's my Q. Okay, everybody seems to be dead. Are we pulling him off the map? Indeed we are. Later, nerd. He's fucking gone. There's no way he's getting back on. Not today, sir. No, thank you. Uh, let's hook him. I missed the hook, but we can maybe kill him at least. There's my damage immunity from the sky. Let's get max cauterized and also get some life rip, because why the hell not? Let's do it. I feel like we're doing pretty well. I don't feel like we're doing ridiculous, though. We are still winning, which is all that really matters. Uh, let's hook you. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Okay, that needs to be fixed. That's really buggy. Uh, he's still dead, though. We're going to get him here. Oh, come on. I missed too many shots there for that to work. There's a heal and CC immunity for both you guys. Here we go. And also damage increase, because why the hell not? Just in case the ability didn't do enough things on its uh, on its damn own. Can we hook through a shield? It, we can. Okay. Nice. So we can actually use our F through a shield. He's going to push me off the map. We killed him, though. Get fucked, my guy. We got pulled off the map, but we shot him for 63 as we were falling backwards. And we actually killed him. Fucking fantastic. Fantastic. Hello, Strix. Let's focus him because he can't really escape. So let's get rid of him. There we go. I don't know what happened. Again, it did the animation and everything, but for some reason, he didn't end up getting pulled. I don't understand how that works. I even saw my fucking Khan do an animation. It didn't work. I've got my ult again. Hello, Strix. Thank you for the double. I appreciate that. Can we get a triple here? Can we get a triple? There's a Sky here somewhere. Uh, let's just kill you, maybe, instead. I'm not going to waste my ult on him now because he's got, like, no health. Oh, Sky ult. We avoided that. Nice. There's my Q. Hello, Strix. You are going off today. Later, nerd. He's fucking done -zo. Man, I love that ult. It's so good. Can we try and pull somebody off the map with our F? Because I haven't been able to do it so far this game, and I would like to because it would be kind of fun. Let's just shoot from under him. There we go. Uh, if he walks towards us, we'll do it. If somebody walks near us, we will pull them off, but he's he, he knows what I'm trying to do. They obviously all know what I'm trying to do. He's the character that pulls people off maps, for Christ's sake. They're all over on this Strix for some reason, and we were 
were actually able to win that fight. I'm trying to heal him. There's a heal for you. Uh, hello, Grover. You are gone. There we go. Also, with this loadout, we've got really, really low cooldowns. Like, our Q's got, like, eight seconds with Kronos 2, and then if we get an elimination, it's even lower. We're just going to pull him through that and then finish him off in the air, or I'll shield. Oh, he's going to throw me off on 900 health. That's that's kind of rude. I'll use my Q to heal up, though. Me and this Khan have just had a back and forth. Onslaught Foreman's Rise is probably one of the best maps for Khan, actually, if I think about it. There is, like, a massive ledge on one side of the map, so this is probably one of the better ones for him. I just want to hook somebody off with my F, though, because it requires a little bit more skill. Let's get rid of him. There's a heal uh, or damage increase, whatever you want to have it as. There is a brief second when you use your Q where you can't take damage, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's pull him. There we go. It goes straight through reversal, which is something I didn't know. We went straight through that there. He's gone as well. Bomb King has done a very good job this game of making sure we're all all right. She's dead. There was no animation, but we did pull her there. Let's get this Strix off the map. Later, dude. What the fuck just happened? How does that even work? I don't understand what just happened. It would be nice if I could actually pull my shield up, because that Andrew jumped on top of me there, and I was looking upwards, but my shield didn't move up, so he could just shoot from above me. That's kind of annoying. I understand why it works that way, but it would be nice if the shield actually moved where you looked. Managed to pull a 50-point lead, which is kind of nice as a heal for you. Let's get rid of this guy. Uh, do we just F here? Do we even bother to F, or do I just, you know, just keep firing? There we go. We'll, we'll try and F her. It did the animation, but I didn't actually pull her. Don't understand how that works, but all right. Can we pull this Andrew off the map? We can try. I missed. I'm going to Q here to avoid that reversal damage. Pull up my shield and let the Willow do the rest of the work, I suppose. There we go. What a game. That was a much better representation of how Khan is meant to be played. I'll maybe be making more videos on Khan in the future if you guys want to see it with the other legendary cards and some different versions of the loadout that I've actually done and thought about doing. Our Strix, I think, or their Strix, we didn't have a Strix, got top play. So he's just going to finish off a Sky. Or is this our Strix? We did have a Strix. I forgot we had a Strix. Okay. This was the play where he was in a one on three fight. I chucked him a heal. And that's the whole reason he's still alive there, is because I went in, gave him a heal and some damage. Damage buff, hell yeah. He works well as a super aggressive tank. I really, really like him. The first game sadly didn't go all that well, but I feel like I did him justice in the second one. Look at how damn badass we are there. 30 eliminations, 13k shielding. We had 52k damage, which is more than a Genos, more than a Willow. Uh, we actually had 20k more than their Khan. Uh, we shielded for a lot less, though, because he had the legendary card that let him shield for more. And we did heal for, like, seven times what he healed for. Not too bad. I'm honestly quite happy with that. We had, like, what, fifth top damage as Khan, which isn't that bad, considering we were all about that CC 15 to 7 to 15 I'll take it so thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed shout out to rap god shindy that is their andro it's always nice to play with people who watch my stuff leave a like if you enjoyed I'll see you all very soon as always stay frosty